And I think to be a black Christian, there's no way that I could just take it at face value and be yeah. like, yeah, I just believe this. You know what I'm saying? Because Christianity has been so influenced by <clears throat> imperialism and colonization and white supremacy. Like, And then growing up in the church, um, obviously you were surrounded by the word, but when did it become real to you? I think there's like several points in my life that I can like distinctively remember. I remember like being, I think 15 or 16 and I internalized pray without ceasing. And I remember like <clears throat> walking like through my high school and like just praying like in my head and like seeing things like change in my life and in the life of my friends, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and then I think again at 19, I had like, yeah, so I didn't want to go to, I wanted to go to Duke. I got into Duke. My dad didn't let me go to Duke. I had like a scholarship and everything. So they were like, well, you're going to go to Georgia State. And I was like, no, ended up going and selling real estate a little bit um, for like a semester. I started, I sold like two houses and then my parents were like, you know, you still got to go to school. I'm like, yo, I'm 18 and I'm selling houses. What are y'all talking about? So literally both my mom and dad drove me down to Georgia State registered me went to georgia state for one semester i was like i told you mofos i'm not doing this like <laughs> this is not it so after that i had a i had two i had like two choices in my head my cousin lived out in california she was a year older than me um but she already had her own place and everything and i was like either i'm gonna move to the west coast and start selling weed or i'm gonna go to theology school right Okay. I don't know. Opposites. Okay. <laughs> Complete opposites. And like, I tell people this and they're like, really? I'm like, these were my only two choices because both of them excited me. Well, I ended up going to that program because that was my biggest path of resistance. I think my dad was like, why are you going to theology school? You can't make any money doing that. And I'm like, you're a pastor. But my dad also had a full-time job. He worked oh, okay. for the FAA. He made good money. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, so it was, I was... It was a whole battle and I ended up going to the program. I had to figure out how to pay my way through because my parents wouldn't pay for it. And it was a private school. So there was no, I couldn't get any of my scholarships to apply. Mm -hmm. um, so I did that, went through the program, graduated. And then right before I graduated, basically they lost their senior pastor to a lot of infidelity issues. There was all this like stuff that happened. And so I was 21 at that time. This was like a formative part for me. Um, so I remember like, it was probably like my last week or two there before the program ended. And this woman that I had known all my life walked up to me. She's like, I just feel like God is telling me to tell you this. And she was like, you have to learn how to stand on your own two feet. You can't stand on anybody else's shoulders, not the pastors, not your parents, whatever. You can't stand on anybody else's faith. You can't believe the word of God for from anybody else. It has to be your relationship with the Lord, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that my whole life I had had like experiences that were like, exciting and interesting and I'm like oh I believe the word of God and I'm seeing God work in this moment but I remember hearing that and then for the like the rest of that year next two or three years of my life mm -hmm. really being like I have to decide that like Christ is for me and not based off of anybody else's rules thought process regulations whatever do you know what I'm saying and so yeah. <clears throat> I'd say like Probably 21, 22 is when I'd say at 16 and then again at 21. And then like I, I battled depression really, 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 really badly. Um, end of last year, beginning of this year, I go in and out of like depression. I have been for like since like 2018. Yeah. But I think end of last year was another time that I was just like deconstructing my faith and like, yeah, like, do I believe this or do I not? And so. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and is Jesus real? Is he, is he who he says he is and not who I want him to be? Mm -hmm. You know, so I think every handful of years I, I go through, like, what do I believe? Is this real? Is Christ real to me? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's not something that I'm just like, oh, I got saved at this age and I'm just locked and loaded. Yeah, like, yeah. I think it's impossible to really believe something if you only believe it at face value the first time you hear it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? 
And I, I think that if you're doing anything aside from deconstructing it consistently, you might as well just be blindly following something that could be misleading you. Um, people go through identity crisis and they think that Christ changes. And it's like, he, he doesn't, but he does. Like he, he is what we need in that moment, but he's always been consistent, you know? So, and I think to be a black Christian, there's no way that I could just take it at face value and be yeah. like, yeah, I just believe this. You know what I'm saying? Because Christianity has been so influenced by <clears throat> imperialism and colonization and white supremacy like if i really want to believe this like yeah the first first 10 iterations of the gospel to me were through the lens of white filters do you know what yeah. i'm saying and so like as i grow and mature it's like man learning where the church started learning like what the truth of the bible really says about me and like learning also that there's no white people in the Bible except for the people who are doing bad stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, like they completely mistaught us everything, but yeah. I can write on.